my friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, and I want to do a quick video to tell you I changed my mind about the awesome crop bag that I got on sale at Michael's. I'll link to the video in the description below this one about why I bought the bag and why I thought it was going to be great, and I'll tell you why it's not going to work for me. So you can understand my perspective. I'm not going to go through all of that. Space-wise, this was an interesting tidbit. This bag is great with one iris case then I can put on my little, like, think about what you travel with, okay? If I go to a crop, I always take my little bag of treasures, my work tools, my cutter, and I take the smallest cutter that I can make work, so I usually would take my Cricut. Deal of the day, fabulous. When I put two iris cases in here, there is nowhere to put this thing, okay? It doesn't have enough space. I can't cram it into the side. I don't think the front pocket was intended to pooch out. No. And the handle isn't big enough. Well, I guess it is. It can loop over the top, but it's kind of a stretch because, sorry, there's a lot of dog activity in the background. See, the handle is wider and that one is narrower. So to make this thing, it's kind of a stretch, but that would work. Rain is a big deal here in Oregon. So my perfect storage would not involve having my tool bag up on top. Okay, that's something we watch for. So a couple of things. A, my stuff doesn't fit the way I envisioned. Sometimes I take one iris case, but lots of times I like to take two because I'll have one that has a bunch of stuff in it and you need somewhere to put, if you go to a crop and you make beautiful pages all day or you make a bunch of cards, you need something to put the stuff in safely. And so I do use the boxes quite a bit. And then I like to store things in a way that's super easy to, when I come home to unpack. I don't have to spend days moving back in. If you are a stay at home mom who wants to work out of a bag, then this is a fabulous bag. You could fill it all up, keep all your stuff in it. And then when you go to make cards or crop, scrap, whatever you do, you could put it up on the table and open up these pockets and work right out of it. I think it would be fabulous. But when you go to a crop, you can't put that big bag up on the table. You won't be able to see anyone. It's rude. I'm too messy. All of that. So that's not going to work. The other thing is the reality of it is when I packed this up, I followed Creative Gigi's advice. If you don't watch her, go check out her channel. This was too much weight for me. When I filled this up with two iris cases and this, and I don't even think I had a water bottle, it was 19 point something pounds, and 20 pounds is my limit. None of these pockets were full, it was just like you see it. So, that's not gonna work for me, because you know I'm gonna fill in all these spaces, I'm gonna put snacks and candy and whatever, so I decided that wasn't great. Then, when I tested this, so this backpack, I got this backpack at Walmart, it was $33, not on sale, no coupon, nothing. I also saw them at, on Amazon. It holds two iris cases, my cutter's right there. I'm a little uncertain about if I would take this bag. It kind of depends on the event I was going to and how far. I don't know if I would shove my bag right there and zip it in, or if I would put it on top, right? Deal with the rain, just like that, and let it sit there. Or I might be able to shove it in this front pocket. But you always have to have a water bottle if you're going to sit there and talk all day. So it, it that one's going to be a little tight on space too. That's not the perfect bag. But for $33, it's pretty good. Here was one of the big deal breakers that I realized. This backpack weighs 4.6 pounds. This crop bag, 8.8. .8. Can you see? No. So... That difference alone was what was killing me. This, the weight of the crop bag is sucking up all my ability to bring embellishments. So on that note, I'm going to return the beautiful teal and black bag that would just be adorable to Michael's. And I'm going to keep the backpack for now. I looked online a little bit last night. I don't go out and about shopping and wandering. I'd rather be at home crafting and playing with the dogs and wandering around in the backyard. But... When I'm out, I'm trying to make an effort to look for bags. So that's how I found the backpack. And I remembered years ago, 
I had a rolling backpack like this. I wonder if it broke or I don't know what happened to it, but I'm probably going to end up with a rolling backpack. Uh, I did go, a lot of you guys gave me great ideas and I went and I looked at office supply carts and a lot of things like that. They wouldn't work for the rain. I was worried that my small stuff might fall out the bottom, like if my bag spilled or that sort of thing. And then I'd be out in the rain in a parking lot picking my stuff up. And most of them, you would uh, fold them up and put them in and out of your trunk. And, I mean, sometimes we're doing this in pouring rain, you guys. Like, getting from the car to the hotel and that kind of thing. So, I, I that's a really big deal to me. Um, I didn't find anything that was, like, super compact and I thought would work perfectly. But if you have ideas, I am not too proud. Like... I am fine if I look like an old bag lady as long as I have all my stuff when I get there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll keep you posted if I end up returning this backpack. Bye-bye.